79. Welcome. Welcome to Kent. As I said, welcome to Kent. Classes slash reviews done today. Uh, fairly simple. I got one of the four classes done completely. Freaking right. There's the puffer belly. I'm on my way home. It's perfect. 79 degrees. Very, very sunny. Um, I think I'm going to have to tackle my yard, which is going to be hell. But it's going to look nice when it's done. And that I look forward to. I'm home. It's about 345. About 82 degrees here in Hudson. And and very nice, look at these leaves, these are coming in nicely. Except all of these things are gonna fall off and come crashing down and make a huge mess, which sucks. But, anyways, moving on to the yard. I'm gonna say it's gonna be about a three inch cut. And you can see how ridiculous it's gotten over here. This is a sanitary sewer drain thing. Look at that. The camera doesn't show it, but I can tell it's just going to be miserable. And when I say miserable, I just mean I'm going to make like, I'm going to run the mower like 100 feet and it's going to be full. And then I'm going to have to drive it all the way to the back, down the hill, pick up the 150 pound thing of grass, dump it, put it back on, and do that like 40 times. And the worst spot is probably here where I showed you yesterday. If it were 65 or 70 instead of 80, 82 or whatever, it would be a lot easier, but... Oh, God. I'm dreading this. Well, next flip you see, it will be done. It's done. It's finally done, and it's quarter of six. When did I start? I don't even know. Like 3.45 or 4 o'clock? Yeah, I made 16 trips back to the place where I dump all the grass. But look at this. Look at that. This may be the nicest it's ever looked in, in May like this. I'll have to check last year. I know last year we had a beautiful early spring that started in March instead of late April. But this is what we're left with. We'll get a better shot out here. How about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like what I see. I had to go over everything in second gear so I would make... Uh, three, four passes in second gear, and I'd go dump the thing, come back, and it's empty, and then I'd go over it again in what I usually use, fourth gear, just to pick up the stuff that didn't make it. And there was actually quite a bit. I'd fill the thing up again by a third, going over it again. But then I trimmed, and that was fun. When, when I trim, my legs and shorts and everything get covered in, uh, in grass, but it's all done, which leaves me with more leaves to do, which may or may not get done today, guys. My back is just, it's done, so. It's done, and it's looking good. So Alex is on his way over. I have no idea what we're gonna do tonight. I would like to get the pump in. Now that I took off like three or four inches of grass, it's not supposed to rain for a good 10 days. Oh, look how blue that is. It's beautiful, it's like Colorado, through polarized lenses anyways. Um, but I'm, I may or may not need to water, and I would like to have the option at hand. So that might take maybe a half hour to strap on some boots, go stand back there, hold it up in the basement, wire it in. Um, I wouldn't have to go up in the attic and get the hoses and sprinklers down yet. I can do that any time, but yeah, you know the drill. One plug's in there and one's on the far side of the house, so uh, that, that may get done. We'll see what he wants to do when he shows up. It's not my car. <laughs> no, it's a rental. Hey, guys. You, you stole my camera, doing? you bastard. Yeah. All right, so we are here at Steak and Shake. There's a Ducati over there. There's an S5, S5 right there. There's an M5 right there. And then this is something very, very unique. I told you. That is amazing. Oh, it's not even a fastback. It's a convertible. It's Steak and Shake. I saw a DBS here once. That's very cool. Horsepower. I wonder what it has on it. Very cool. It's an automatic. This car probably has about 200 horsepower. Uh, the Mustang has gone. It sounded decent. We're at Steak and Shake. It did sound very decent. It's the 289. So we're gonna get our. Uh, so it's a pussy one. We're gonna get our shit. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Yeah. 
2.26 a.m. Welcome back. Good morning. Uh, today was a pretty productive day, which you didn't see. I didn't film. I got the pump back in the creek. I got the hoses down from the attic. I got the sprinklers down from the attic. That's all set up, ready to flip the switch and start watering the grass. I actually just scrubbed the bottom of my feet in the sink because I've spent the last hour and a half out here Z6ing the car. So now it is very shiny and very smooth and I have towels to wash, but it's now in great shape. Did the wheels, did the exhaust, did the windows, cleaned out the mats inside, so it's now ready for a fun weekend, hopefully. Um, yeah, pretty productive with the yard and everything today, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Had our dinner, came back here, watched a movie, Vile. Ugh. Yeah, not, it was, it was grotesque, but yeah, that's it. 2.30, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, Friday. I'm gonna sleep in. It's supposed to be another nice day. I don't actually have any mowing to do, so I'll get those leaves done, probably, out front because I think I could do that again today, which sucks. All right.